Folks, you know, uh, you may know if you pay attention uh, to the show, I'm a dad. And as a dad, of course, I live in a constant state of fear about my teenagers. We parents never know what dangers our teens are secretly hiding from us. Sex, drugs, a cappella music. <laughs> and if you don't know what to panic about, just turn on the local news. Are the secret lives of your teens putting them in danger? Teens trying to outdo each other using duct tape. They're using hand sanitizer to get drunk. Smoking, alcohol, sexting. Putting lip balm on your eyelids. Watch out for teens who may jump into the way of traffic. <laughs> of course you're going to jump into traffic when your eyelids are hopped up on lip balm. <laughs> I'm about to show you a terrifying new trend among teens. So pour a tall glass of hand sanitizer <laughs> and brace yourself. This is The Late Show's Teen Secrets. The last time we exposed teen secrets, we warned you about the dangers of teens using emojis to communicate in code. So teens can't be trusted with emojis. And now, according to KPNX12 in Arizona, Arizona's news leader, they can't be trusted with everything. It's hidden in plain sight. So how some teens hide drugs from their parents. This next story will change the way you look at almost everything. This is a picture of a teenager's bedroom. Looks simple enough, clean, tidy, but what if I told you there are more than 70 items hiding drugs and alcohol? 70 items. That's in addition to the 200 items your teen is using for masturbation. <laughs> so how exactly are these devious teens stashing their stash? There's a slit that's been cut in this flip-flop so somebody could literally walk out of their room with pills in their shoes. And a tea light candle on its own doesn't necessarily mean that your child's using drugs, but the tea light candle holders are one of the most popular ways that kids are cooking heroin. Cooking heroin in tea lights. That explains the new Yankee candle scent, Lou Reed. <laughs> and this story is everywhere just like drugs. Does your teenage son or daughter spend a lot of time holding on to small electronic devices like a graphing calculator or alarm clocks? Well, Kent, I have to tell you that uh, according to law enforcement officials, those small devices are being used by teenagers uh, to basically store their illegal narcotics. Yes, according to law enforcement, teens are hiding drugs in their calculators. Of course, it all makes sense. We already knew teens were storing pornography in their calculators. Don't believe me? Boobies. <laughs> All right? That's math. That's math. <laughs> we haven't gotten to the worst hiding spots of all. Now, oddly enough, the DEA says teens are also using stuffed animals in belts. Drugging up stuffed animals? How could you, teens? I should have known all the warning signs were there with my beloved Mr. Itchy Skins. <laughs> He's in a bad place. I caught him in the alley snuggling for cash. <laughs> Thankfully, these local news hounds have taught me to question everything. Parents can have a huge impact on the choices that their kids make. Because what you think you're seeing may actually be an optical illusion. Oh, my God! <laughs> That wasn't his real tie. <laughs> Am I high right now? Did teens hide drugs inside of me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the tip of the drug bird. <laughs> it's time to learn all the other places your teens could be hiding drugs right here at the Teen Secrets NARC desk. <laughs> all right, parents, question. Does your teen ever eat sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, there it is, a sandwich. Looks innocent, right? Not so fast. The so-called meat is actually a bag of angel dust. <laughs> mm-hmm. Turkey club? More like turkey drug. <laughs> Next, is your teen always on the phone? Of course they are. But are you sure their phone isn't actually just a brick of hash labeled to look like a phone? Yeah. It happens all the time. Hello, promising future? Hello? It just hung up on me. Now, 
If you're a responsible parent who loves his kids, you've already torn up your teen's teddy bear in front of them and smashed their calculator. <laughs> Still, they'll need something to use for math class. Why not the family abacus, you say? I'll tell you why not. Do the math. Drugs plus drugs <laughs> equals drugs to the power of casual sex minus a condom. <laughs> this next one's a heartbreaker, moms and dads. You ever seen your teen walking around with their childhood macaroni art? Mmm. Hey. Cute, huh? Yeah, but look a little bit closer. Each one of these is a tiny crack pipe. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. I sell my body for another hit right now. <laughs> Here's an adorable pillow from your teen's room that says, I love my family. Nothing wrong with that, right? Except for the fact that it's a cover for the real pillow, drugs. <laughs> okay? This is what they're dreaming of, okay? And I'm sorry to have to break this one to you. Your teen loves your family cat, right? Mm-hmm. They love burrito. Family cat. Oh, Burrito loves being on camera, too. This is Burrito. Oh, they pet Burrito all the time, and they just, they just love Burrito. You ever wonder why? Well, look what happens when you just shave the little guy's hair off. Turns out, the whole time, Burrito wasn't a cat. He was a duffel bag full of weed. <laughs> okay? That's why dogs hate cats. They can smell the drugs. So remember... Burrito's fine. So remember, <laughs> drugs can be anywhere. Because as our friends at KPNX Arizona say, what you think you're seeing could be an optical illusion. <laughs> it was a clip on the whole time. We'll be right back.